and welcome to another Minecraft Redstone tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make the contraption behind me a pretty efficient uh, uh, pumpkin and melon farm, at least for the, uh, for the resources it takes. As you can see it's fairly simple, uh, the only uh, real uh, redstone is uh, along the top here where you've got a bunch of uh, uh, observers powering some pistons which will detect when uh, a melon or pumpkin grows and then fire the pistons as you just saw. Uh, and also uh, you have the minecart docking system which will basically keep the minecart in place until uh, all of its stuff has been unloaded as you are about to see in just a second. There you are, the power rail turns off while there is stuff in the hopper and it's off again. This is everything that's been collected so far uh, in the time that I've been talking to you and through a couple of um, uh, takes that I didn't like particularly. Um, but that's only been like, um, I'd say five minutes or so. So really, you're gonna need a far bigger storage system than just three double chests like I have here. As I mentioned earlier, the items that you will need for this contraption are fairly cheap. You have 16 stairs or any other block that can be waterlogged, one building block of your choice, 64 dirt, 16 melon seeds and 16 pumpkin seeds, two water buckets, a hoe, it doesn't have to be uh, another right one, uh, just letting you know, um, uh, a stack and a half of rails or approximately that, 19 powered rails, a minecart with a hopper, 32 observers, and 32 pistons, which are probably two of the only expensive items on this list, 32 redstone dust, 10 redstone torches, a comparator, a repeater, three hoppers, and two chests. First thing to do is place uh, eight of your redstone torches in a ditch like this. It must be two blocks deep. Uh, as you are going to cover it over later. After that, you're going to want to place in uh, your rails uh, like this. So it's going to be uh, first covering over your redstone torch uh, and then placing two powered rails like this above it. Then four rails on either side and one coming out of them on either side because then you're going to continue this pattern like this. Once you have covered over all of your redstone torches, uh, you should end up with your track looking a bit like this. Uh, now what you're going to do with the end of this is bring it forward one more and then place a powered rail there and then a block there to stop it. Then underneath that powered rail, place down a redstone torch to power it. The next thing to do is add on a powered rail uh, just next to this little curve here and underneath that you're going to want two hoppers just running out of here and make sure that the powered rail is running into a block so that it will stop the minecart. Now it's time for the minecart docking system. What you're going to want to do is place in a comparator here, then uh, one block along, a redstone torch. And above that, a building block, a repeater coming out of that, and then one more building block. And as you can see, that's powering the rail. But um, if uh, an item enters the hopper, the comparator will detect that uh, and power the uh, redstone torch, which will turn it off, meaning the repeater turns off, meaning the rail turns off. It's a very smart system. After that, you're going to want to place in all of your dirt just above here, leaving uh, the curved rails. You don't want to uh, place a block above those. After that, it's time to place in your waterloggable blocks just above the curved, ra curved rails as I'm doing now. Make sure that the corners are curved as that will prevent any water from spilling outside. Then after you've done that, use your two water buckets to make 
an infinite water source, which you can then take water from to fill up these blocks. After that, fill the earth in a checkerboard fashion. Like so. Now it's time to place in the melons and pumpkins. Uh, be sure to put these in rows, as uh, for some reason, uh, this actually allows them to grow faster. I don't know why, but uh, that's a thing. Having done that, you can now place in your observers. Uh, now, make sure to place these above the crops, uh, as these observers are going to detect when uh, a me melon or pumpkin grows by the stalk growing. Or well, not growing, but uh, it will move to connect to the pumpkin. I don't know, but yeah, just do what I'm doing, basically. After doing that, place in redstone dust on top of all of your observers. Like so. After that, it's time to place in all of the pistons. You're going to want to place these facing downwards, and you can do that by breaking the dirt and then placing it again. To finish off the farm, all you have to do is place in your hopper minecart that will be sent off, uh, and then uh, you can place a storage system down here or uh, whatever you want. Uh, you can expand this uh, downwards uh, by doing something along the lines of this, as hoppers will always take from the bottom uh, before they uh, push along. Also, I'd recommend placing a transparent block, like glass, around the outside, as otherwise drops could escape. Uh, and if you use any block other than glass, then the light will be blocked and uh, the melons and pumpkins won't grow. Uh, none are uh, popping up right now because the stalks are still growing. You can speed up the process using bone meal, uh, like I did uh, over there. So yeah, uh, I'd like to thank you all for watching, uh, I hope you enjoyed, I hope this was helpful to you. Uh, please leave a like and do consider subscribing, it would be very helpful, especially in the early days that my channel is in now. Uh, unless of course you're watching from the future, you might be, if so, hi! Um, is my channel popular in the future? Please tell me, I would be interested to know. Um, but yeah, until the future happens. Bye.